For cheap Ultimate Team Coins, go and check out ufifa.com and use my discount code EGHD at the checkout to get 5% off your order. What's going on guys, Jack here and welcome back to another FIFA 16 squad builder. Today we're actually going to be doing a best possible squad builder which means basically if we go to the formation I'm going to use, we're going to be picking the highest rated player in each position. Now obviously we're actually going to be using the 3-5-2 formation because it means the left backs and the right backs are non-existent. They are usually the lowest rated players in every team so if we can take them out that means we can have a left mid a right mid and a lot more midfielders and obviously the strikers so that is why we're using the 3-5-2 formation so for today's video i'm going to be building the highest rated league one squad let me know in the comments section which league or which nationality you would like to see next in this series so to kick things off let's go to the goal so the highest rated goalkeeper is going to be Ruffier, as you can see here, 83 rated. There actually is another goalkeeper called Steve Mandanda. He is actually 83 rated as well. Now obviously we have only got uh, the first team of the week actually in practice at the moment. It's the 28th of September, which means we haven't had any uh, team of seasons, team of the years, informs or man of matches that would upgrade the goalkeeper for this league. Moving into the three highest rated centre backs from this league, we have David Luiz, Thiago Silva, massively ahead there, 88 rated and also Perrin. All three of these players are basically very good uh, quite a lot of pace here 74 73 and 72 and they're very strong uh, so if you're playing a three at the back formation these are the kind of center backs you want moving into the two CDM positions we have two 84 rated players from PSG and uh, Verratti here on the left side he's quite a small player five foot five but he's got extremely high balance and he feels so strong on the ball he's kind of like you know how Bernardo is the Brazilian on FIFA 15 he just couldn't get pushed off the ball it's kind of like Verratti basically he's got 68 pace which feels a little bit quicker in the game because as I said he's got that balance he's got more acceleration he's got 87 dribbling 83 passing and his defending stats are pretty decent four star skills as well which adds to his uh, ability but high high work rates which is also good to see he gets a lot of the ball in the game and he's always involved especially in the midfield section of the pitch so on the right side we actually have Matuidi he's five foot nine again he's not really tall especially for a CDM usually you have like your six foot kind of players a lot stronger a lot a little bit taller to kind of push people around a little bit but he's very good 75 pace 83 defending and 81 physical so that's 77 passing as well, 75 dribbling. He's a pretty average kind of attacker, but his, you know, all of his stats are favouring the defensive side of his uh, abilities. Moving up, we have in the left wing position or the left mid position, we have El Sharaway. So this guy used to be a five-star skiller, used to be silver. Now he's obviously in the League One. 86 pace, 84 dribbling, a really nice player. It's, it just surprises me. He has no goals and no assists because he's always... A big part of going forwards in my attack. Maybe he just hasn't been able to put something together or maybe the, the goals and assists haven't gone onto his stats because I know sometimes that does happen. But four-star skills, four-star weak foot, absolutely awesome player and it's a shame that his stats don't look that good. But Lucas, on the other hand, he is a very, very pacey player. 93 pace, 87 dribbling, again, very small, five foot eight, has that kind of uh, very high balance, high acceleration kind of figure and uh, attributes on this game. 73 shooting as well, 75 uh, passing. But again, his stats should be so much better than this. I've actually used them a few times in other teams as well, so that's why he's got 18 games played. So moving into the cam position, I'd probably say this is the most important player in the squad, especially when you're going forward because he has amazing attributes for it. He's got 88 pace and 86 dribbling. To be honest, his dribbling feels a lot better than that. That's just my opinion, and he feels very, very quick. He's one of those players where if you actually go around someone, he feels like he's getting away from the defender as opposed to someone that just goes round him and gets caught up again. He's got 79 shooting, so his shooting's great. His passing's also very good. 83 passing. He's got four-star skill moves as well. He's very, very left-footed though, so don't take any shots with his right foot because they're most likely not going to go in. He's got six goals and two assists, which isn't too bad. So moving into the strikers, we obviously have Ibrahimovic. He's actually 89 rated this year. As you can see, I paid quite a lot for him. 385,000 coins, six foot five. No, hasn't got five star skills. I wish he did. He's got four star skills, but he's got four star weak foot as well. He's an exceptional striker, but I think in this formation, it doesn't really suit him because it's a lot of running around. And obviously as a big guy, he's going to get tired. I prefer to play him with four at the back um, so that he's not doing as much running and you can kind of get the ball into him slowly. But obviously if you abuse the crossing, he is definitely going to get onto the end of it and uh, get on the end of it properly you know because he's a very good guy in the air he's got 90 shooting 81 passing and 86 physical stats as well as 85 dribbling now obviously we've got Cavani on the right side 85 rated one of those players you just hate packing because it looks like it's going to be Suarez and then it just pops up with that PSG badge but he's got 76 pace 83 shooting 81 dribbling and 80 physical stats actually better than I thought he would be again his stats don't look great it's just the way FIFA 16 is you don't score many goals sometimes the game just ends 1-0 or something and obviously that makes the stats look terrible for the for the individual players basically but he's got six foot again very good in the air so if you want to really abuse the crossing in this team this is the kind of two strikers you're going to want up front 
Also, just quickly, I'm going to go through a few players that almost made the cut. So, obviously, we've got Pastore here. is 84 rated, the same as Verratti and Matuidi. But, in my opinion, in the two CDM positions, you're going to want someone with better defending, right? So, Matuidi is obviously a CDM. And Verratti's actually got about 70 odds, you know, defending. So, he would suit that CDM role a little bit better. So, it's really down to opinion. But, I think most of you would be picking Verratti, just like me. Striker-wise, Lacazette just missing out there. He's 84 rated. He hasn't gotten in form yet this year. Um, he would go straight in there if he was 85 rated or his joint you know, overall rating was the same as Cavani because he's a lot quicker, better at finishing, and his dribbling's better. So I would have picked him straight up. But goalkeeper-wise, 83 rated Mandanda here. He is uh, obviously a, an opinion kind of uh, choice there that I put uh, Ruffier in. But Ruffier, in my opinion, is just a little bit better. He's got better you know, all-round stats, in my opinion. So... Left wing or left mid position, we've got uh, Levetsi as well. Same rating as El Sharaway. El Sharaway is a little bit quicker, and that's what I want to have on my wingers. Levetsi has lost a lot of pace this year, and I think they've both got four stars. Yeah, they both have four star skills, so they're both pretty even, to be honest. Um, there's not a big difference between them, but I chose to go for El Sharaway for a bit of a change because I usually have Levetsi in my League One squads. So, this has been the squad builder part of the video. If you have enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like. We're going to get into some goals now and talk about the strengths and obviously the weaknesses of this squad, what I like and what I don't like. And yeah, let's have a look at some goals. So guys, getting into the gameplay, I have about a minute and a half to two minutes worth of footage for you guys. I wish I got some more, but obviously FIFA 16 is a little bit slower this year. Some games ended up 0-0 or 1-0, and obviously that makes it really hard for me to get gameplay. But as I said, the wingers, I was surprised they didn't get more assists because they were always making opportunities. I think this year I found it hard to get used to crossing because even on corners, the goalkeepers just come out like spiders. They just catch everything. And it's so hard to, it's a lot harder to score from crosses in my opinion. But if you do get your head on it, it's probably going to go in. It's one of those, like you have to really cross it early and hopefully, you know, get someone to run onto the ball rather than actually be standing there ready for it because the goalkeeper will catch it. But let's talk about the, the main guys in this squad, Ibrahimovic and also Di Maria. They're the guys that when you think of this team and you've used this team, you'll go, yeah, those two are the best ones because Di Maria, perfect cam. Here's the ideal cam. Pace, dribbling, good passing, four-star skills, good at long shots, good, you know, just good at everything. Then Ibrahimovic, he should have five-star skills, but... He's fantastic anyway. Tall guy, you can really abuse him, whether that's his long shots or his uh, heading ability. I didn't really abuse his heading ability, but when I have in previous squads, um, he's very good at uh, winning headers, basically. Because if he does win a header, it's going to have the you know a very uh, strong effect. It's going to be a very big header, basically. But that is it, guys. Um, the defense and the midfield is solid. Some of the best centre-backs and midfielders in the game. Um, but 3-5-2 really takes them out a little bit. Makes them run around a little bit too much. And in this game, again, stamina and fitness really does hit them hard. But if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like. Let me know in the, next, uh, in the comment section which video you'd like to see next. Which best possible you'd like to see next. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.